Hello, welcome to Train Residential Solutions in Tyler, Texas. We are proud of our facility and would like to take a brief moment to show you around. Each year, distributors bring over 1,500 dealers to tour our plant. We are constantly updating our facilities to be as lean as possible, so what you see in this video could change before the next time you visit. Our tour guides are specially trained to guide tour groups through the plant and labs. At the Tyler facility, we have a manufacturing plant and two testing laboratories. Our plant is over 1.3 million square feet with 1,200 plus plant employees. Our condenser coil is made entirely of aluminum and is called the spine fin coil. We produce enough spine fin annually to stretch around the world twice. At the peak of the season, we average about 1.2 million feet per day. To make the coil, the spine fin machine splits an aluminum strip into thin teeth called fins. Then a worker positions the strips to wrap thousands upon thousands of fins around the aluminum tube, making the spine fin tubing. Each tiny fin is a heat transfer vehicle. To form the coil, an automated winder spirals the spine fin tubing into a large cylindrical shape. Hot glue is then applied to hold the coil together. The next machine forms the coil into the shape of the air conditioning or heat pump unit. After transition tubes and copper manifold are brazed into place, workers submerge the coil unit in an underwater pressure test to make sure there are no leaks. Here at the plant, we fabricate the top pieces to the air conditioning unit using the Schuler top cover press. This machine is completely automated and can produce a stamped part every 10 seconds. From here, the conveyor belt takes the pieces to our powder paint area. In the powder paint area, we wash and powder coat bare steel panels, grills, and tops. The paint is applied as powder and bakes to a finish in the cure oven. Let's take a quick look at how we assemble a unit here in Tyler. First, we start out with a weather-resistant plastic base and then mount the compressors. Workers then cover the compressors on certain models with vinyl jackets, and then the coil is added. All air and moisture is removed from the lines and the wiring is connected. We do several leak checks during the manufacturing process to ensure there are no leaks in the refrigerant lines. The three side panels are added. The motor and fan are attached and the weather guard top is positioned into place on the top of the unit. The access panel is then fastened into place and the unit is ready for shipping. In our shipping and vibration testing lab, we test our products for durability and the extent of damage caused during a variety of shipping conditions. We have a vibration shake table to test for damage caused by vibration of being in transit. This test can vary from low vibrations to extremely rough conditions. Pictured here is the incline test used to simulate side impact damage caused by improperly secured shipping. We also have a drop test where we test the unit for damage if it is dropped vertically. It is important to drop the equipment at different angles to see how damages could occur to the unit inside the shipping box. The reverberant chamber is used to determine the acoustic performance of residential systems products per ARI 260, 270, and 530 standards. Inside the chamber, we test air handlers, furnaces, package units, split outdoor units, and compressors. There are two rotating microphones in the room which record the sound generated by the product being tested. In the compressor autopsy area, 
we study in warranty compressor failures and compressors that are returned for examination. We want to determine if the compressor did truly fail and if so, identify the root cause. Here in the compressor live test area is where the son of Snowball lives. The original Snowball was a supposed failed compressor that ran for over 27 years in extreme conditions. The Son of Snowball is a compressor that was pulled from production in 2003 and since then has been running at 200 pounds high side pressure and 30 pounds low side pressure with flooded restart. It snows every Tuesday and Wednesday in Tyler. Our seat facility tests sample units from the factory in extreme heat, extreme cold, rain and snow to ensure our coils and compressors meet the reliability standards we demand of our products. We hope you enjoyed the quick video tour of our facility. We offer full-length tour packages that allow you to visit with our product leaders and tour the plant and labs with knowledgeable tour guides who can answer your questions. Schedule your group for a tour today. Email us at learningresources at irco.com.